Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can fix up your sprinting and crouching system for our first person shooter game. Now what I mean by that, when we hold down shift and then we try and crouch, sometimes it will work, um, so it's going to put you into the sprint animation but it's going to stay crouched and that's not that great. And also if we hold down shift and then press sprint, you know, a little shift key, you're going to see it's going to continue at the shift speed, but it's going to continue in the crouch animation. That's what we're going to be fixing up in today's video. So it's either going to be one or another to keep it nice and simple and hopefully keep you guys happy. So what we're going to do then is we're going to open up our third person character. Now we're opening this up because this is actually where we hold all of the information for our crouch and for our sprint as it's all player related stuff. So what we're going to do then first is take a quick look at the crouching issue. So when I press play at the moment while I'm crouching, if I press shift, shift after that you can see it's just, just going into the other one and the same goes for shift. If I press crouch after that, it's going to stay in the, you know, the crouch stuff. So what I'm going to do then is basically if they press one of the buttons while they're crouching or they are sprinting, it's going to take them out of that mode and into the new mode that I've just asked for. So let's say they are crouching already and then they press shift. We're going to tell them to go into the sprint mode as opposed to crouch. So we're just going to turn off crouching automatically. So what I'm going to do Starting off with my sprint, the sprint stuff over here, I'm going to make myself a little bit of space to work with. So I'm going to drag down here and I'm going to move this along. And what I'm going to do before we set sprint to true is I'm going to quickly run a branch. And this branch, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly check to see whether or not crouch is true. So if they're already crouching. So if they are already crouching, what we're going to do is we're going to drag true out and we're going to tell it to simply set crouch to, um, you know, set crouch to untrue. So that's just taking them out of the crouch mode and then we're just going to hook this up over here. So let's move this over, drag it in and if they're not, we're just going to tell it to continue on just like normal. So we're going to hook this up to the sprint true stuff. And then the release stuff, we can just keep exactly the same, exactly how it is. And then having said that, we've just got to do the same thing over here with our crouch as well. So what we're going to do once again is we're going to go up here, we're going to make some space and then just drag along just a little bit. And then from here, from pressed for the crouch, we're going to run a branch and we are just going to check to see whether or not sprinting is true. If it is true, we are going to tell them to come out of the sprinting mode. So we are going to tell it to set sprint as uh, so the set sprint to true and make sure this is set to untrue and then drag this along, make a little bit more space. And then from here, if false, so if it's not true already, just tell it to run as normal just like that and that should fix up our sprinting and crouching system. So if you go ahead and compile this, close it up, press play, hopefully now when we test it it works. If I press shift and then if I press the control key, sorry, press the control key, you're going to see it's going to slow it down, it's just going to go into the normal crouch animations. Same goes for shift when we're running, crouching straight away that's perfect. And then if we try crouching and then press shift, you're going to see it's going to go into the sprinting animation instead and that's all working. Anyway guys, that's a very easy, quick and simple fix for this system. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know you guys have at last asked for it quite a lot, but that's all fixed up now. There is loads more stuff to come for our FPS series. Once again guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep curating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.